Hey guys, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician, and I'm just doing one of my regular updates for my stock music learning and earning uh, sort of report. I just want to be totally transparent with all this stuff, so I like to do these from time to time. Um, so this is going to be covering October and September of 2017. Right here you can see the page sort of with my lifetime licensing earnings on Pond5. And I'm on a few other sites, but this is where most of it is. Um, and you can see it really starts, I didn't really start um, even licensing anything until about May of 2015. Um, and in that time, it has pretty much grown steadily, uh, nonstop. And what I wanted to point out here is that September was my best month ever by a pretty significant number, $382. Um, and we'll dig into September in a bit, but it dropped off by more than $120. And the main thing I just want to show you here is this is really a cyclical type thing. The trend line is up, but it bounces around a lot month to month. And you can also see that most of the money that I've been earning has been in the past year. But what I'm also going to say is this is basically more or less passive income because since this summer I have not been focused too much on adding new tracks. Um, it's mostly I've been working on a few other cool projects which I'm going to tell you about um, hopefully as soon as I have something really to officially announce but um, making a lot of good progress with those things and they're going to be exciting and I'll tell you about them but basically I probably haven't uploaded more than 30 or 40 tracks in the second half of this year. Did nothing as far as I know, as far as I can recall in September or October, but still made 600 bucks. And so this is a great type of thing where when you have a productive spurt, you can put it up there, get it online on Pond5 and get going. And then, um, you know, as time goes by, if you have slow months or quarters, it doesn't matter. Um, obviously, it's better to keep growing it. And that's what I plan on doing. But I've been a little focused on other stuff, like I said. Um, so let's now look at September here. Um, September was kind of interesting because basically I didn't have any huge, you can see here this line is the sales and this is the item sold. Um, and so I didn't have any high value sales, which is interesting, which I think is why it was a lower, uh, overall level. Like sometimes some of the songs would go up for like 60, 70, $80, depending on the song and the license. Um, but here you can see there's a very strong correlation just between the number of items sold and the revenue. So, um, and then these really low ones, these are going to be sound effects that I was selling for $350 um, or something like that. So, basically, um, you got to be patient in this industry. You got to hope that you get the bigger, higher value sales, uh, which is sort of kind of what I've been focusing on, but I'll get into that a little more in depth. And um, yeah, I just hope this was helpful. Just sort of want to pull back the curtain from time to time and show you what's going on, show you that this is possible. If you really want to get involved in licensing music, I've got a whole course basically focused on how I do it on Pond5. Um, there will be a link down below if you want to get on that. Um, but basically, anybody can go on Pond5, sign up for an account, and start selling music. Um, that's the basics of it. I'd recommend you do it if you make music um, because it's fun and it's you know lucrative over time. This is paid for a lot of studio gear um, and some other fun stuff. So. Hope you enjoy this and have a great one.